a state visit from one centuries-old royal family to another. With all the pomp and ceremony that accompanies such events. For Britain's Prince Philip, one of the final official engagements before his retirement from public life later this year. The trip had been postponed twice, first because of a delay by Spanish politicians in forming a new government last year, and again this year because of the UK's snap general election. And it's not a relationship taken lightly. 300,000 Britons currently live in Spain. And nearly 120,000 Spaniards have made their homes in the UK. But fears over a post-Brexit future have cast a shadow over the relationship between the countries. We must particularly bear in mind the thousands of Britons and Spaniards who live in each of our nations, who form a sound foundation for our relations. These citizens have a legitimate expectation of decent and stable living conditions for themselves and for their families. This visit may provide an ample opportunity for both the UK and Spain to promote the warm relationship between the two countries. But there are points of tension, and the main one being about the territory of Gibraltar. Less than a year ago, King Felipe told the United Nations that it was time to end, as he put it, the colonial anachronism of Gibraltar. Situated on the southernmost tip of Spain, it has been a British overseas territory for more than 300 years. Spain wants it back, but it's extremely unlikely that Britain will allow that. The issue of Brexit has only complicated the matter. There's little doubt that to reinforce between two countries who've had ups and downs over the centuries, the cultural and trade links, this is of significance. And also uh, Spaniards here and Britons in Spain will, will, I think, welcome the closeness between the two countries being emphasised by the heads of state visit. But there is little appetite to rock the boat. A post-Brexit Britain will need all the friends it can get in a European Union that has been hostile to its departure. And there is some $50 billion worth of trade between the two countries every year, and neither party wants that to be adversely affected in the future. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.